here with some people. Um, I wanted to make a quick video to talk about my experiences using the Rosetta Stone app, uh, languages app. I'm using it right now to learn French. Um, I wanted to give sort of like a real experience of, um, of using it because a lot of the videos that I see online are people saying that they've used the app and that it's this and it's that or whatever without actually thoroughly using it. Um, I've been using it for about six months or so and I'm on chapter five of 20. So um, and my experiences have pretty, been pretty good so far. Um, the only issues I've had with it is that when you have to do the um, sort of multiple choice sort of questions with the pictures, sometimes on the phone, the pictures can be very small. Um, on the uh, laptop or computer, um, the interface can be better utilized. There's a lot of empty space. Um, it's not the most intuitive app uh, ever, but um, after using it for many, many, many hours now, I believe, six months worth, um, I can say that it's been very good in helping me understand uh, the French language a bit better. Um, it has different chapters on travel, um, leisure, um, sort of greetings and introductions. Um, I think it's got past and present tense, uh, future tense as well, I think. Um, I haven't quite got to the tenses yet uh, in the app. Um, but yeah, I'm in chapter five of six, I believe, maybe six, no, chapter five. I need to check my phone. But um, yeah, it cost me about 120 pounds, 110 pounds, something like that. Just over 100 pounds for a year subscription. Um, I think it'll take about maybe two years to learn it, the way, this pace at which I've been learning it. But what it does make you do is fill in the blanks in your head. So it doesn't actually tell you up front what you're reading in English. It just makes you figure out what, what word to use in French. And eventually you understand what the words are in the sentence. And it keeps on drilling you on that same sort of um, uh, process uh, of learning the language. So you sort of do the same thing over and over again, like drills and eventually you will it, will, it will make sense eventually. Um, sometimes it gets a bit repetitive um, and occasionally it's actually quite exciting to use because you're learning sort of new um, words, uh, new sentences, uh, new topics, which can be quite exciting. Um, but then at times it can get quite repetitive. Um, I find, I don't think, I find it difficult to use it for more than 20 something minutes at a time, 20 odd minutes, 25 minutes, anything more than that, the fatigue starts to set in. Um, and I wish that it had like a, a glossary of some sort, um, just to, just so you can just see what the words are in English. Um, but yeah, um, I think that would expedite um, learning but I've picked up the pace on it recently and um, I'm sort of getting through the chapters a bit quicker than I was before it feels like so um, yeah yeah I think that it's a it's quite good it's really quite good 